Hi guys, it's me again. Hey, you guys remember how the root spa or the bubble bucket bucket works, right? You have an air supply from an aquarium air pump that runs through the multi-purpose tube, providing air to the bucket nutrient. Remove the air, you can tell the level. You insert the air back in and you get the bubbles. And that's what makes this thing work. Works great. The only thing is we didn't have a level control. For multiple bucket systems, say more than four pots, we need to have a method to control the level because it's a lot of work controlling the level of many buckets individually. So here's a prototype of a level control system that we just tested and it works great. So this feeds, in this case, two separate buckets and controls the level to whatever set in this level control. There's really nothing new here. It's the same old principle. A top bucket feeding a bottom bucket which has an enclosed float, float uh, assembly for, for cutting off the water that you can adjust to control the level of all the attached pots. The way this works is pretty standard. You have a container on top which is actually the, the main reservoir, the supply reservoir, linked to a float valve in the bottom bucket. And the way you control the level is by actually setting the float to control the level in this bucket, which feeds the other two buckets, and then the level will stay the same. Let's take a look inside the level control bucket and see how it's set up. Very simple, really. It's just a simple float switch. It's a float valve, actually, not a switch. That controls water inlet from the upper tank. And the valve is adjustable by using this wing nut. And of course, the level control float switch, the float is connected to the upper reservoir. What you do as far as nutrient control is just control it in the top bucket. You maintain the level in the bottom bucket and you control the nutrient solution strength in the top bucket. One thing we did and what we're going to do is we use the standard root spa buckets with the level set up the multi-purpose tube. That way we can tell the level in these reservoirs and also we can attach an air pump to these to do an intermittent aeration setup. We can put a timer on that on an air pump, plug it into here and then every 15 minutes or so, 15 minutes an hour, you can aerate the solution. The only problem we were faced with with the buckets themselves was how to run the air into the buckets without the use of an air stone. So we solved that situation by providing a tube, a harder tube, and run it down to the bottom of the bucket. The air hose from the air pump fits right into the top of the tube and the bubbles blow through the bucket. Let me plug in the pump and I'll show you how it works. It's a dual outlet pump, has two buckets, and here's how it works. You just run the tube right smack into the bucket. Cut a slight angle on the bottom so it won't bottom out. And you'll see plenty of bubbles in there. See the roots going out already. Actually, a better shot. You get plenty of air bubbles to accomplish the job of providing oxygen to 
We've had this jitter in here for a couple of weeks since we started the level controller and it's growing very nicely. Well I'm going to show you how to put these together from scratch. You have two root spa buckets. Now you don't have to buy these, they're really easy to make. But you have the top bucket, which is the main reservoir, and then the lower bucket, which we are going to make the level controller. So basically you have two root spas, the lower one separated by a cap, which is just a regular bucket lid, and another root spa on top. Here's the two items you will need for the buckets. The top bucket will receive this half inch to three quarter inch hose adapter along with a half inch grommet. This will go into the bottom side of the top bucket, which is the main reservoir, to gravity feed to the lower level control uh, bucket. Okay, then you have the float valve which goes in the bottom tank and the float valve is adjusted with this wing nut. You can actually raise the level to which it operates or lower it. If you go way down like this the level is pretty low when this actuates to shut off the water. These two items, the float valve and the reducer will attach to this hose which will provide a gravity feed from the upper tank to the lower tank. We're going to modify the lower bucket first by installing the float valve. So we'll take the top bucket off and the lid So we'll turn the lower bucket around and we see where the hose is. We'll go right straight down, straight across, and we're going to drill right in the middle of that bucket. For that particular float valve you need a 3 8 inch bit, drill bit, and we're going to drill right about the center of the bucket. Okay, just need to clean that up a little bit. Now well, we clean that up very nicely with a little knife. Now we can install the float valve. It's very important to install the float valve in this position with this part up top. And when you operate it, it'll close the valve. And that'll open the valve. Okay, we have it installed nice and tight. This float is going to have to be up a little bit, I think. But notice, don't forget to put in a gasket that comes with the float valve. Also, to make sure that we're not going to have any leaks, we put in a small O-ring, which you can get like at Lowe's or Home Depot, and just tighten down the nut very snug and that will prevent any leaks. Then finally we put the end cap from the float valve assembly and the sealer on here. We're going to use quarter inch tubing, the black vinyl tubing. It's much more durable than the clear vinyl. Anyway, just tighten that down and it will snug up the seal. It's called a compression fitting, and it compresses that seal against the hose to prevent leaks. Now we have the float valve fully installed. Now the last thing we have to do to the level controller 
is drill a hole, 13 16 inch hole, in the bottom for a grommet and an elbow to connect the level control bucket to the rest of the buckets in the system. Now you can use one of these step drills if you're very, very careful because they'll start going in and you got to be careful you don't go in too far. So here we go. We now have a nice clean hole we can insert the grommet. Make sure it's nice and tight because if it's loose it'll leak. Oh yeah. Put the elbow in. Oh yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna work great. Now we'll attach a hose to this and connect them to all the other buckets. All we have to do to the top bucket is install that grommet and a hose reducer at the bottom of this bucket. Like I say, you have to be real careful when doing this so you won't get the hole too big. Make sure the edge of that hole is clean. You may have to take a tape knife and just kind of trim it off a little. And then you can insert your grommet without any problem. Now a little bit of soapy water will really help with this installation. But anyway, there's the grommet. And now, you put the reducer in there. There you have it. Now all that's left is to attach the hose between the top container and the bottom. And we'll leave a little slack. So, we're done. We've got the two buckets, the two containers connected. We still have the multi-purpose tubes, and then we have the outlet from the level controller to the rest of the buckets. Now we'll hook it up. Here's the final installation. We have one bucket one by itself, just to show how a single operates. And then we have three linked together. And there's your level control setup. And then from the lower, this is the level control tank. And there's your fold valve. And we have caused a level of almost halfway. And I think that's what we're going to stick with. Now, if you need to supply a great number of buckets, like say up to 30, you would have to get a larger nuclear solution tank, the supply reservoir. But you could do that by uh, building some sort of a platform and putting a larger tank on top. That way you could gravity feed down to the level tank. Anyhow, that's about it. Sorry about the noise. We'll check on this system later. I'm going to put some coldage plants in these. It should come out really nice. So, until next time, catch you later.